once you reach policy level, I know the policies, oh, maybe I have to be reminded every once in a while, but I know the policies, I know what to do, everything's gonna be okay. If you stop there, then you got a job, you come in and quarter of eight and you leave it, blah, 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 and everything's okay. The people who do better, professionally, personally, whatever it is, start to refine their own beingness by figuring what they need to do in order to feel better. Now, what does that mean? We all grow up, we all had parents, we all had parents who threw blankets on us and made us feel maybe not as good as we could, right? And so that beingness was covered with an overcoat. And you start to express doubts because of the periodontist who called me names or all that kind of stuff. You take that overcoat off by doing things that are a little bit better. And as a result of that, you have something that you can be proud of. And when you're proud of something, your self-esteem goes up if we talk about it in, in, in those kinds of terms. So I'll give you an example. Danielle, I'll use Danielle as an example because I do a lot. Uh, Danielle arrived here and she came here as an orthodontic assistant and go ahead, you describe your, your experiences. I'll, I'll fill in. You weren't prepared for this lecture. Go ahead. You got the microphone. I started here at 28 years old um, as an ortho, ortho assistant. I knew nothing really about dentistry because even the teeth numbers were different. So when I first started working here, I was completely lost and very scared. Um, but all I knew is I really wanted it. I really wanted to succeed in the office and I really wanted to be a surgical assistant and I really wanted to work my way up somewhere. So I just knew that that's what I wanted. And that was really the start of it. You train, cause there was no one here really to train me. The girl that was training me was leaving for North Carolina within, I don't even remember. It was like a short period of time. So it was just like, I have two weeks to give you and then kind of you're on your own and just kind of threw me in and you showed me the rest. But it was very scary. It was very scary. Um, but I knew that I had really one chance of doing this and I had to do it right, which meant that I had to really, really work hard to prove myself um, physically, mentally to make this happen. And when I see those three words, I think about that a lot back in the beginning because all I really, at that time, I was a single mom, two kids. I didn't have two nickels to rub together. I was starting basically on my own for the first time ever in my life, my own place with, by myself with the kids. And I just knew that I had to make it work. And when, I, when you have done this lecture in the past, it was with Dr. Kendall Parliament. And I remember seeing his picture with his wig <laughs> in Parliament. And I remember when I, when I saw those three words, the first thing that I thought about was 98% of the population have that backwards. They have have, do, be, because everybody wants to have it. I wanted to have it. I wanted to have it immediately. I needed to have it immediately. I wanted to have it immediately. But I learned quickly that it can't be that way. And the world is like that. Everyone wants to have it. Have it now. I want it. I want to be the best. I want to, I want to have that title. I want to have that pay. I want to have that time I want I want to have that but I think if people really looked at those three words and knew that the have has to be at the end because if you're not the person that you need to be doing what you need to be doing you're never gonna have what you want and so in the very beginnings of being here I had to realize because you weren't gonna let it go the other way and very quickly you instilled you can't have that what you want unless you are going to be this certain kind of a person, do these a certain kind of a way, and then you can have what it is that you want. And it was true. And it, it was like a light bulb went off that I had to go in that sequence and very quickly and very easily, I had exactly what I wanted to have, but I had to be that person. I had to do these things a certain way. And then having was actually pretty simple. And then what occurred afterwards is, is you kept on doing other things independently, which raised your ability to be. And sometimes when you do that, some things that were thrown on you saying you're no good, and we've all had that experience, haven't we? I have. That, that blanket throws off and said, gee, 
maybe I am pretty good. Mm -hmm. And maybe if I try something a little bit different or I do things a little bit differently, I can feel better about who I am. And when I feel better, that's, that's something you have. And that continues to go up and up and up. And so you can become more independent. You can do things at home. You can have good relationships with your spouses. However it is, all of that can go up simply because you feel better about yourself. Now, if it stopped there, it's not enough. Mm 